area load frequency control. The intention of control at this point is to regulate the frequency of each area and at the same time to regulate the tie line power as per inter area power contract. In case of frequency proportional plus integral control, PI control is used to get zero steady state error as compared to the contracted power. Consider that each control area can be represented by an equivalent turbine, generator and governor system. Symbols used with suffix 1 refer to area 1 and those with suffix 2 are referred to area 2. Consider the case of an isolated control area. Here, the incremental power delta PG minus delta PD was accounted for the rate of rise of kinetic energy stored an increase in area load caused due to rise in frequency. A tie line transmits power in or out of an area, so this fact must be taken into account in the incremental power balance equation of each individual area. Power transported out of area 1 is given by where delta 1 naught, delta 2 naught is equal to power angles of equivalent machines of the two areas. For incremental changes in delta 1 and delta 2, the incremental tie line power is expressed as follows. As the incremental power angles are integrals of incremental frequencies, the equation is written as where delta F1 and delta F2 are incremental frequency changes of areas 1 and 2 respectively. In the same way, the incremental tie line power out of area 2 is given by the following equation. Similarly, the incremental power balance equation for area 1 is written as follows. It may be noted that all quantities other than frequency are in per unit in equation. Taking the Laplace transform of equation and reorganizing the equation is given as When compared to the equation of the isolated control area case, the only variation in the appearance of the signal delta P di 1 of S is as shown in the image. Taking the Laplace transform of equation 3, the signal delta P type 1 of S is obtained as for the control area 2, delta P type 2 of S is given by taking the Laplace of the equation 4 composite block diagram of a two area case. Block diagram representation of a two area system then LFC is shown. Response of a two area system uncontrolled case. Static response. Dynamic response. Click each response tab to learn more. Static response. The changes or deviations result in the frequency tie line power under steady state conditions follow sudden step changes in loads in two areas. Say delta PD1 and delta PD2 be sudden or incremental step changes in the loads of control area 1 and control area 2 respectively. Similarly, delta PZ1, delta PZ2 are the incremental changes in the generation in area 1 and area 2 owing to the load changes. Delta F is the static change in frequency which is same for both the areas. Delta PTL is the static change in the tie line power that is transmitted from area 1 to area 2. For the two areas the dynamics are described by under steady state conditions Solving equations 5 and 6. Substituting delta PT L1 from equation 10 in equation 9 is given as. Substituting delta F from equation 10 in equation 11 is given as.
equations 11 and 12 are modified as equations 13 and 14 give the values of the static changes in frequency and tie line power respectively as a result of sudden step load changes in two areas. It can be observed that the frequency and tie line power deviations do not reduce to zero in an uncontrolled case. Consider two identical areas. Hence, from equations 13 and 14, the equation is given as if a sudden load change occurs only in area 2, that is delta P D1 equal to zero, then we have Equations 9 and 10 illustrate the advantage of pool operation, that is grid operation, as follows. Equation 5 mathematically represents the change in frequency with respect to the change in the load in either of the two area system, which is being interconnected by means of tie lines. Considering the two areas to be identical, equation 5 becomes 6. Hence, the load disturbance occurs only in one of the two areas. That is, delta P D1 is equal to 0 or delta P D2 is equal to 0. The change in frequency is represented by delta F is just half of the steady state error. This occurs with no interconnections, that is isolated case. Thus, with several systems interconnected, the steady state frequency error would be reduced. Half of the added load in area 2 is supplied by area 1 through the tie line. The above two advantages represent the necessity of interconnecting the system. Dynamic response A power system of two identical control areas is considered for analysis. Torque GT equal to torque T equal to zero for both the areas. The damping constants of two areas are neglected, P1 equal to P2 equal to 0. By which you of the second assumption equations 5 and 6 become Laplace transformation on both sides of equations 19 and 20. From the block diagram, the following equations can be obtained. By solving the above equations, the equation can be written as Above equation, the following observations can be made. The denominator is of the form alpha and omega square are both real and positive. Hence, it can be concluded from the roots of characteristics equation that the time response is stable and damped. The three conditions are if alpha equal to omega n, system is critically damped. Alpha greater than omega n, system becomes over damped alpha less than omega n then s12 equal to minus alpha plus or minus j square root omega n square minus alpha square where alpha is equal to damping factor or decrement of attenuation omega not equal to damped angular frequency since parameter alpha also depends on b but b less than or equal to 1 by r in practice. Therefore, the effect of coefficient b is neglected on damping. After a disturbance, the change in tie line power oscillates at the damped angular frequency. Damping of the tie line power variation is strongly dependent upon the parameter alpha, which is equal to f0 by 4 r h. Since f and h are essentially constant, the damping is a function of the R parameters. If the R value is low, damping becomes strong and vice versa. The transient change in the tie line power will be of undamped oscillations of frequency 
omega s is equal to omega. If or equal to infinity, that is if the speed governor is not present, alpha equal to zero, the variation in frequency deviation and the tie line power would be as shown in the image. It can be seen that the steady state frequency deviation is the same for both the areas and does not vanish. The tie line power deviation also does not become zero. Although the above approximate analysis has confirmed stability, it has been found through more accurate analysis that with certain parameter combinations, the system becomes unstable.